Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Leah. And today, we're drinking bourbon. Yay! 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 Although, first, I think we should address the elephant in the room. Let's do it. Do you want me to explain? Well, I think you should. Okay, we have new merch. So down in the description, below this video, you're gonna see a link to Teespring where you can buy sweatshirts like this, shirts like that, and lots of other stuff. Or if you're interested, you can also find a link to our Patreon where you can find our new tumblers with an amazing The Bourbon Note logo in Buffalo. Yeah, we've been busy lately. We have. So. Lots of changes around the channel. Yeah. I mean, Ben goes out of town and we get busy. Who's Ben? I don't know. I hear he's not around. So, okay, but here's the story. Ben went on vacation. You knew this. Maybe you knew this. Maybe you didn't. And is his custom... He got <laughs> somehow. I don't know it's how it happened. happened. Something always happens. Something always happens when he goes on vacation. We recorded a bunch of videos and extra videos, and we've run out of those extra videos, so now it's time for us to like pinch it and like come up with additional content. To bring it in the ringer. Yep, exactly. So Leah, who has a couple of other businesses and does a couple of other things, decided, you know what, I can help out. Yeah. I'm an expert at this bourbon thing. I will provide lots Not even of a little. A perspective. Not even a little. But it's actually kind of cool because, I mean, you do know what you like and you know what you don't like, and you've been less than a fan of bourbon, let's say. Yeah, I know I don't like it. So, <laughs> that's a good perspective, though. Yeah. You know? I mean, not that I've had a lot of it. Right. Um, I just feel like I never get any of the flavors that you guys talk about. You so. just get like the, the punch of the alcohol. Yeah, I just feel like it's nail polish remover all the time. So you're a newbie. And so give it a try and eventually you'll find a, and maybe if you care to keep going, eventually you'll find a bourbon that you kind of like. And then all it is, you're going to find flavors that you, at the back of your mind, you, you have a memory of. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, this reminds me of when I was 12 years old and I was eating a Pop-Tart or oh. I was whatever. It's just you're getting little memories. You're walking okay. through the, the county fair and you remember the taste of... Um, cotton candy. Cotton candy. The blue one. The blue one. Exactly. Okay. Well, should we bring in... So what do we have on the bar today? Bam! Did I do Ben justice? I don't know. I'm not even Bam. sure if Ben does Ben justice. That's true. Today we're drinking Old Forester. This is 1870, the original batch, which is a 90 proofer. We don't have an age statement, but we think it's, it's moderate. It's not super, super old, but we're gonna give it a try. Um, yep. They have a several in this series. They have the 1897, which is the bottle and bond, 1910 and the 1920. We even did a review where we mixed 1910 and 1920, creating 1915, one of the greatest bourbons ever. If you're a big fan of the Old Forester flavor profile, there is a particular flavor note that you either like or you Cool. And from what I hear, it's banana bread. And it I is. love banana bread. So let's give it a try. Okay. And to be honest, while I do love banana bread, real banana bread. Ooh, oh, I apologize. Uh, you can have that one. Well, oh, thank you for that. <laughs> that was, uh, you don't have to finish. Okay. Uh, no, that, you you don't have to finish the pour. Amen. When you turn off the camera, who knows what happens. So, all right. All right. So I, I have to give it a sniv. Well, a, a, the singular of sniv. <laughs> is sniff. Is sniff. By the way, in the merch store, I'm working on getting a sniv shirt made by you know who, and he's just not listening to me, saying just, that the people don't want it. I'm telling him the people do want it. Well, first of all, I don't know how to sm spell sniv. Well, according to Ben, there's no e. He said no e. No e. Other, yeah, otherwise so it's just knives. B, B in. How do you spell Ben without an E? No. In snibs. <laughs> oh, that makes much more sense. <laughs> so, let us know down below if you think snibs should be a t-shirt, because I think it should be. Okay. That's fair. Okay. All right. And if we get at least three people, then you got to make it and get it up there. That's fair. Okay. All right, wait. We ready to nose it? Let's see what we're getting on the old Forester 1870. 
nail polish remover. No, I mean, there is a, an astringent quality. It's, eth it's ethanol forward. Vanilla. Yeah. Caramel, but it's light. It, it, this actually smells watery. Like there are several flavors, but they feel like they're gonna be like, not the most intense ever. Okay. They're like, it's caramely, yes, but it's not gonna be the most intense caramel ever. It's gotcha. a banana bread, but not the most intense. So anyway. Bubble gum. You think so? Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try it. Nail polish remover. Every time. Really? This one drinks very dry, meaning the most one of the most prominent notes is the oak. Now envision a liquid sitting in charred wood. So I'm eating a tree or drinking a tree is what it tastes like. A burnt tree. Like it's with nail polish remover. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> but but the, <laughs> typically you get a little bit more of the vanilla and some of the sweetness from the wood, but this one actually doesn't come across as super sweet. No, I smelled it more than I taste it. This one comes across as very dry. Mm-hmm. Um, not watery. <laughs> moderate, like, not the most I intense flavors. I know what flavors. you meant. Yeah, not but, the most intense flavors. There no. is, like, there is a caramel note. There is a brown sugar kind of toffee note, but they're definitely subtle. Yeah, very they're not subtle. sweet Yeah, at all. Cinnamon on the finish, like once once the burn of the ethanol goes away, it kind of becomes cinnamony on your tongue. But then there's this weird sweetness, which is almost like... I get like candy cigarettes. Well, so candy cigarettes or the gum ones, the ones with the like the white powder. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, which is, I think it's a gum, right? Didn't no, you chew them? No. Oh. You chewed them, and it was just candy that oh. you just chewed. What am I thinking about? So I think there were, weren't there two different types of candy cigarettes? There was like the ones that you blew the, the powder out and it looked like smoke. Yes. And the, But you didn't chew on them. No, the, but they were like hard candy. Yeah. But then there was another one that were like, they were gum. They were just, no, they were just white. Yeah. And they had like a little red tip to like, Make it look like a flame, and you just kind of hit them. Why can't you buy those anymore? Those were awesome. No, well, I think they're probably <laughs> trying not to promote smoking to children anymore. Well, that's a good. There's that. There's a change of tactic that we'll see if it sticks. <laughs> Sarcasm. But so. yeah, you're not good at that at all. I would say this is not my one. Really, I am getting a little bit of butter on it. I love butter, and I'm not getting any butter. So a little bit of oh, smoothness. Geez. Sorry, yeah, the so, puppy scared yeah, me. Yeah, puppy's running out. I'm not sure she'll come through on the microphones, but we'll try to edit that out as much as we can. But oh well, now she's squeaking toys. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I have to admit this one comes across as dry, astringent, and low sweetness before any of the interesting notes. Yeah. So of the four of the original line of the. 1870, 1897, 1910, 1920. Mm -hmm. I think this is by, number, by far number four for me. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, it's like number 12 for me. That's okay. You've yeah. only had 10. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> I do math very well. So, yeah. Any other thoughts on this one? Um, How much did you pay for this one? I, I think it's been like two years, maybe oh. more. Um, I, I think they were... This, the entire line was around 50-ish dollars. I okay. can't remember specifically. Not terrible, but yeah. from what I, I hear you guys say, I think there's a lot of better ones for that I price totally point. agree. Yeah, at, at $50, 90 proof, there are definitely some competitors that I would definitely consider before this. So. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't drink enough of them. So, yeah. All right, any final thoughts? Nail polish remover. I don't think that's the right one. It is how I feel about it. Okay. And you cannot tell me how I feel. I, well, okay, I would agree with that, however. Or how I taste it. 
I think we should find a better bourbon for you to try that's maybe a little bit more marshmallow forward and see if... Marshmallow? Marshmallow and s'mores. I have, a, I have a bourbon that is very s'mores forward. It's criticized for being too sweet, but there's no such thing as is too sweet. Is it a Basil sweet. Hayden? It's not Basil oh, Hayden. okay. <laughs> it's not a Basil Hayden product at all. So, I mean, I'd be willing to give it a try. Okay. That could be a future video. There you have it. All well, right. I'm Leah. I'm Greg. Thanks for watching. Cheers.